Welcome to Global Perspectives. Just as a polar vortex held the nation in its miserably cold grasp for much of January, a combination of emerging market troubles and soft data here at home sent a chill through the formerly red-hot equity markets. January's troubles were set into motion by the Federal Reserve's mid-December proclamation that it would begin to curtail its monthly asset purchases. Emerging markets, especially those with ballooning current account deficits like Turkey, Argentina, and South Africa, soon found themselves under attack and their fairly illiquid currency, stock, and debt markets plummeted. While developed markets at first seemed to shrug off the Fed announcement, the emerging market plunge ultimately triggered margin calls and sell instructions for a variety of liquid risk instruments, including U.S. equities. Early February hasn't been much better, thanks to an assortment of frosty macroeconomic reports. Why is Fed activity having such a profound impact on the emerging markets? Just as artificially low interest rates in the U.S. drove investors to more exotic locales in search of yield, the potential return to normalcy has triggered an outflow from these markets and a devaluation of their currencies. While a number of emerging markets have hiked interest rates to attract capital and prop up the local currency, many remain under pressure, suggesting investors are not convinced sufficient action has been taken. Even so, market fundamentals continue to march forward as corporate profits thrive, supported by global consumerism and global manufacturing. Frontier markets, meanwhile, are catalysts for growth in the broadening global expansion and have largely avoided the adverse impacts of the carry trade currently bedeviling much of the emerging world. If anything, January's market dynamics underscored the folly of gaming diversification. Investors that sold bonds in 2013 in fear of rising rates missed the benefit of fixed income exposure, namely portfolio downside protection when bonds significantly outperformed equities during the month. I'm Doug Cote, and that was this month's Global Perspectives.